Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. So, I'm drawing from a book called The Atlas of Foreshortening. It's uh, not actually a anatomy book. It's a pose book, uh, full of visual reference for artists of foreshortened, you know, the human form in various foreshortened poses. And I'm trying an interesting exercise here where I'm actually turning all of the, the photos, I'm turning the book upside down, and I'm drawing from the poses, you know, I'm, I'm drawing the poses as, as I see them upside down, as opposed to right side up. And this idea occurred to me, I was actually doing some studies from this, this book a different time, and I've mentioned before about flipping your drawings, putting them on a light table or drawing them on tracing paper and then looking at it from the other side. And again, I give credit to my, my buddy Carl Altstetter. But artists have been doing this since the Renaissance, looking at paintings in the mirror while they work on them. Because when you look at the mirror reflection of an image, it reveals to you flaws that you may not perceive when you look at it um, you know, the traditional way. It just changes your sense, or it gives you a truer sense of of volume, structure, and proportion, things that you may mentally be distorting without being aware of it. That mental distortion is one of my biggest flaws as an artist. It's something I constantly struggle with in terms of my sense of, of volume, structure, proportion, pr um, perspective. I'm always fighting to try and keep those things in line. And... If at any point I'm lazy or sloppy or just, you know, not having a great day, my proportions get really wonky and my sense of structure, things that should feel firm and solid become mushy. Now, the interesting thing I found by doing these studies is that when I turn the photo upside down and I look at it and begin drawing, a pose that I might have very little difficulty with drawing right side up now becomes very alien looking to me. And that challenge is exactly what I need. It forces me to, to confront my own perception problems. And this is something, again, where every once in a while I try to remind people that I'm not doing tutorials. This is more about my journey as an artist trying to master the craft of drawing, um, to work on comic book storytelling, and basically show what I'm going through as I make the artwork that I make. But for me, it's not... I'm, I'm definitely... have I have a lot of flaws that I'm always trying to work on, always trying to improve. And for me, this one is a big one. There's plenty of artists out there who have no problem at all with looking at something and being able to replicate it and draw it, um, keeping the sense of proportion and structure and volume correct. But for me, it's a constant struggle. And any time I can come up with a tool to work at improving that skill, that sense of proportion or perception, I'll jump at it. And this was a big one for me. Like, the minute I started drawing these things upside down, it became a very serious workout. And that's exactly what I needed. I need to be challenged to really change my sense of perception. It makes me realize just how flawed some of the things that I draw are. And learning those things can only make you a better artist. So, that's it for now. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com, and go be creative. I should mention that this last drawing is not a drawing of the, the pose that you see on the page. It's actually a picture that's on the facing page. Because, yeah, it would definitely be way out of proportion or out of perspective if the one that you're actually seeing here is the one I was drawing. Just thought I'd let you know that.